This is Englewood Humperdinck with my good friend Jimmy Deal. He's the real deal. Would you believe? And there you go. We have our special guest today, and this is the Jimmy Deal uh, Spotlight Show here on Hamilton Radio. I want to welcome our guest and also Jimmy Deal. Welcome, Jimmy. Thank you, Doc G, and welcome. I want to welcome a very special guest today, a worldwide superstar. He's the king of romance. He's a legend in his time. It's such an honor to have him here on the show with me again. Welcome, Engelbert Humperdinck. How are you, sir? I'm good, thank you, Jimmy. Very, very good. Nice to talk to you again. Great to talk to you again, too. You recently celebrated 50 years in show business. Congratulations. How did this all start for you? How did you get started in show business? How did I get started? Uh, the reason I got started was because I, I got myself a hit record, with, which, of course, was released me. And I went into the Guinness Book of Records by saying, it, this is the only song that stopped the almighty Beatles from going to the number one with their number 13th number one. And uh, that's how that's how my, my claim to fame came about. Okay. It was 1967. You were at the London Palladium. And you, you debuted yeah. Release Me. Now, I heard someone was sick. Is that how it happened? Yeah. Uh, no, no. That was that was much later on. Not not during my uh, my London Palladium release. Uh, I got I got that because um, somebody got sick at the yes. Yeah, somebody got sick at the London Palladium, and uh, and they I was their replacement, and and that's when I I premiered my 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 single released me and the very next day it was selling like 80 and 90,000 a day. Wow. You became a, a household name. Uh, from that moment on. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> change your, you change yeah. your entire life. <laughs> How do you come up with the name Engelbert Humperdinck? How did I come up about that name? Yes. It was, it, <laughs> The name now is since 1960. Oh, we're going back 50, 53 years, right? Uh, Gordon Mills was the manager at the time, and he decided to change my name and give me this very unusual name, which really has stood me in great uh, stead for uh, uh, making me uh, known around the world. Thank God. Oh, okay, and you also had the last waltz, right? And that did very well for you as well. That was my second big hit. You know, that was the one that... Uh, was played in every dance hall around the world and was written by Les Reed and Barry Mason, two very good writers who were instrumental in writing many, many hits for me, including the, the unusual name Le Bicicleta de Belsize, if you remember that time. Oh, I love that song. Yeah, it's good. That's a great song. You sold over 150 million records worldwide when you first started out. Did you yeah. ever think that was possible? I never thought it was. It would be possible, no. Uh, I, I, you know, having a, having one hit was was great, but I never thought I'd have so many, and that uh, the count would be so astronomical as to go as far as 150 million albums around the world. Wow! Now I've been to a number of your shows. Um, now the ladies in the audience they go completely <laughs> insane when they watch you. What is the craziest thing a fan ever did to get to meet you? Um. Crazy. Well, I had one fan lock her legs around my waist when she jumped up. She ran on stage <laughs> and locked her legs around my waist and, and it took four men to undo them. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> that, that's yeah. pretty crazy. Hey, Engelberg, can you tell, tell me about Winter World of Love? That's one of my favorite songs. Oh, Winter World of Love uh, uh, was um, written by Les Reed and Barry Mason. Uh, the two song songwriters I just spoke about earlier on. And uh, uh, it's just an incredible song. It's a great seasonal song. And, and I, I, I love singing it when the time, when the, when it's seasonal. And you did a lot of newer stuff too. And a few, after, after, after you did after the love and you did a lot of newer stuff, I got one of your DVDs and it's an amazing DVD. Um, I forget. Oh, where yeah. You're... So yeah. Uh, like for instance, my late, my latest uh, uh, um, EP that I put out, I mean, I've got tracks on there that there's a song on there called Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me. And as a matter of fact, when Elton John wrote that song, he had he had me in mind and he asked his man to send the song to me. But that never happened. But so he recorded it himself. And it's one of his the biggest songs in his repertoire at this wow. moment in time. And wow. I, I, so 
I decided to, to record it all these many years later and give it my rendition of the great Elton John song, uh, Elton, Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me. Wow. I did not know that. Thank you for sharing that, Engelbert. Pardon me? Thank you for sharing that information. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I've also, you know, I've got a, a duet out, a duet song out right now, uh, which we premiered last week on on live stream radio, on live stream, and um, it, it can't help falling in love. And it's with a young singer from England called Janet Devlin. She's got a sweet voice, and they asked me to do a duet with her, and I was happy to do it. And I've got some great response from it, and I put that on the on the on the new EP as well, which is called Sentiment. And there was another question That's I want to ask you, Jimmy. Jimmy, hold on. Uh, about you, you touring around with uh, Tom Jones and Frank Sinatra. What was that like? Well, um, I, I, you know, it, it's it's been wonderful. I, I've I've been befriended some of the greatest uh, singers in the world. For instance, uh, I, I as I I have befriended uh, Frank Sinatra, and one other person was Dean Martin, and of course the other one was the great Elvis Presley, and uh, uh, and Tom Jones, of course, yeah. It's great, it was great. I mean, uh, uh, for a person like me to be involved with great great people like that, it's just so wonderful. You played all over the world. Do you have a favorite place to perform? Uh, not in particular, no. I... I, I I um, I love performing everywhere. I think everywhere is an experience. I'm a world tra I'm a world traveler, and I I, I love uh, experiencing different countries, and that's what my my present tours are all about. Although nothing happened this year, but it will I'm hopefully happen next year where we we can go back to going to places like Australia and South Africa and South America and and Japan, and, you know, Korea, all these places. You know, I've, I've experienced, I have worked in the past and um, it, it's been, my music has been my passport to the world and I'm certainly glad that I chose this vocation because it's given me a wonderful life. Yes, I mean, so many great hits too, like Cuando, 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 Spanish Eyes. Do you have a favorite song that you like to perform? Uh, I, uh, any song I've recorded are my favorites because if I, if I didn't like it, I wouldn't have recorded it, you know. But uh, I, I I like them all. I like them all. I like singing them. But I think the song that really, really gets to me every time I, I perform it is, of course, is Release Me because it gave me the, you know, it was my, it was the umbilical cord that was uh, cut during 1967 and gave birth to a great uh, 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 career. Uh, I mean, you sound fantastic all the time. How do you keep your voice in such good shape? Your voice seems to get better with age. How do I keep my voice? Yes, yeah. in such good shape. Well, I I, uh, I have to tell you that uh, it, it my voice has kept so strong over the years. I mean, it's unbelievable that uh, I've been able to keep it like that. The phone is ringing in the background. I apologize for that. I'm sorry. You're okay. But it's okay. Uh, um. No, my voice has gotten, it's, 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 it's as good as it ever was, you know, and it's over 50 years old in, in my professional career. And, um, you know, as you get older, uh, I have to, I have to tell you, as you get older, that, um, your voice, you sort of, your voice, you have to get lowers, you know, you get a lower register. But mine has maybe gone down just a half a step. But I, I have to say I'm very content the way it is right now because I'm singing strong and, uh, Actually, when you when people see me on my 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 special, this did you, did you know I've got a special coming up on December the twelfth? Yes, uh, Christmas time. Yeah. Uh, well, they'll hear me. They'll hear me live and uh, 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 on Saturday, and and you'll you'll see that uh, my voice is as good as ever. It's, it's my first Christmas special. I'm very excited about it, and I wanted to tell you about it. You know, uh, first Christmas special ever. It's an hour long. And hopefully that uh, people enjoy it. It's it, it's going to be uh, at Los Angeles time about twelve o'clock midday, you know, and so people can get a, a wherever they are, they'll they'll judge it from that. Right. You go to loop dot com. It's loop dot com slash Engelbert to get tickets. That's right. Yeah, that's that's the one. 
That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> so tell me about your granddaughter's going to be in the show, right? Your granddaughter that sings? My, my granddaughter? Yes, she's going to be in the show? Because I know she was on the Hawaii special. She certainly is. Yes, she's going to be there. Uh, she was supposed to be here in Los Angeles, but uh, 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 because of the lockdown that we have here, the travel restrictions, uh, it, she's not been able to do it. So she, we're going to do it remotely from Nashville. She's going to be in Nashville, but she will be, be appearing on the show with my daughter, Louise. Oh, fantastic. That's great. And I heard you're going to do something with Blue Christmas. Excuse me? You're going to do something with Blue Christmas. You're going to do a, a different arrangement for Blue Christmas, I heard? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, that, well, that, uh, that song, my friend, uh, was done uh, 60 years ago by my good friend Elvis, of course, you know. But, uh -huh. uh, uh, and it was a great version, absolutely great version. But I've done it this time, and it's not so blue. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's got a two-step feel. You can even dance to it, so... Uh, my blue Christmas is a uh, is that's so blue, yeah, and uh, that that's one of the great songs that I'll be doing. Oh, awesome! That's that's fantastic, and you and people can also get a meet and greet with you on Loop dot com, where you can actually get some yeah, one on one yeah. time with you. That's uh, it's be, that's fantastic. It's got to be fun. It's got to be fun talking to all these people <laughs> on a one on one basis. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to spend hours on it, but. Uh, uh, it, it's going to be nice because we we've got time on our hands, don't we? Uh, yes, we do. This pandemic situation. I heard that your sons decorated the house really, really nice for the Christmas special. They did hard at work. It, uh, both my sons, uh, Jason and, and Brad, they both did an amazing job of decorating a section of my house for and made it into a studio for this particular occasion. And I'm very proud of it. And uh, and uh, they're appearing in the show and. And uh, it's going to be a fun show. Fun. Fantastic. We're looking so much forward to it. Christmas time has always been special for you, right? Very special. Very special. Yeah, and I, I just, I'm just, um, I'm just sorry that I can't have my entire family with me and, and you know, and, and, and invite friends over and things like that. But uh, maybe next year it'll be better. Absolutely. We're looking forward to it this, this coming Saturday. It's at uh, 12 noon and 3 p.m. Eastern yeah. time, and it's looped.com slash Engelbert, and we're looking forward to it. We get that meet and greet where we get some one-on-one -on -one time with you, and we hope to get a lot of people to come and join you. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you so much, and I appreciate talking to you, too. Engelbert, <laughs> thank you so much. It was great talking to you again. I really appreciate your time. Thanks for being on the show. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome. Have a wonderful holiday. Take care. You you too. Take care. Bye bye. See you down the road. Bye now. Thank bye. you. Thank you, Uncle Bert. Wow. Great, great freaking thing. Yeah, yeah. What a legend. What a He's legend. An amazing guy. You know, he I, is. just an amazing guy. 